What's up, people? Welcome back. So, is GNOME 3 an unholy mess? If you recall, by the way, I, I can tell you what is a mess. It's trying to find a standard uniform quality screen recorder for Linux. So if you hear any artifacts, any defects in the video audio, I do apologize. But that being said, do you recall about four years ago, someone who was considered the father of Linux called GNOME 3 an unholy mess? And as soon as he said that, this Windows user went straight to Ubuntu's Unity. I'm just kidding. Uh, that was part of it, but at the time, and I still do, by the way, believe that Ubuntu Unity is still more friendlier than GNOME 3. So in this experiment, can GNOME 3 be made to be fully, functionally, user-friendly for a beginner? Or was it truly a mess, and is it still a mess? At the time, I didn't quite understand all of the uh, controversy surrounding this and Unity. Uh, coming from a Windows perspective like myself, I thought more choice is great. Uh, maybe at the time a little bit of confusion as to what to choose, but after playing with both, I decided to stick with uh, Ubuntu's Unity. So here we are, uh, some years later. Is GNOME 3 any better or is it still a mess? Well, I will try as a Windows dual booter to try and make GNOME 3 as fully functional for a beginner as possible and maybe have this as my default desktop. It's not. I don't think it is that fully user friendly, at least not yet. But maybe with some tweaks it can be. So I will be testing this and well first of all what I'm using here is Debian. This is the older Debian uh, stable release number 7.8. You can see it's GNOME 3.4 point two not the latest one it does use older software but this focuses more on stability versus the latest software hence I've been I had uh, problems finding a good screen recorder I'm using vocal screen but it's not really running the way it should but that being said hopefully I can get through this so GNOME 3 the GNOME 3 experiment for beginners project for this year at least for the next couple months is GNOME 3 still an unholy mess all right, finally, if you haven't already, would you buy the new Ubuntu phone? The new poll is up. This sends February 20th. I'm curious about this one. A lot of you have been waiting for this. It is available only in Europe. Limited supply, I'm sure, so far. Half of you are saying yes. For me, it would be a maybe. I am taking a wait-and-see attitude, but that's strictly my opinion. I'll have links for all of this below in the show notes. All right, well, that's it for this one. Thank you so much for watching and listening. Please don't forget to subscribe and support, and I may catch you later sometime in your GNOME future.